Ready to take your photo editing to the next level with the power of AI? With the Adobe Firefly Generative Fill Tool, you can use artificial intelligence to instantly make professional edits to your photos and images. Simply use the brush tool to remove or replace objects in photos, add new objects with text prompts, and even expand photos to create the perfect image for your project. Whether you're resizing an image for social media or replacing unwanted items with something better, you can instantly transform your photos using the Generative Fill AI tool. This will revolutionize your editing game, so let's head over to Adobe Firefly and test it out. To access Adobe Firefly and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. So once you get to the Adobe Firefly homepage, go ahead and click the Image tab. Here's where we can access several AI tools to generate and edit images. If we take a look at the various tools here, you should see one that says Generative Fill. Here's where we can use AI to add and remove objects in our images and also expand our images as well. Let's click it to open it up. This will take us to a menu where we can upload the image that we want to edit. To upload your image, you can simply drag it over to the top box here or click the Upload Image button. You can then find and open up the image that you want to use. For this example, I'm going to be editing this image of a room here. There are several objects in the room, but we're going to see if we can use AI to change things up a bit. If you look on the left hand side here, you'll see a menu with several options. This includes Insert, Remove, Expand, and Pan. For my room image here, the first thing I want to do is remove this toy car at the bottom. So to do this, let's select the Remove tab from the left hand side menu. I can then use my cursor to simply brush over the object I want to remove. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure you try to brush over your entire object. And if you make a mistake and actually erase something that you didn't mean to, you can simply go down to the bottom and click the Subtract tab. You can then brush over the area to restore it. And there we go. And if you wanted to use a smaller or larger brush, you could select the option here. So now that we've brushed over the toy car, let's go down to the bottom right here and click the Remove button. AI will then analyze the highlighted area and remove my object. Not only does it remove the object, but it also provides us with several generative fill options that we can select from. Feel free to browse through the various options and select the one you like best for your image. For my image, I think I like this third one here. So let's select it, and on the right hand side, let's click the Keep button. And as you can see, the toy car has been removed from my image and filled in with AI. And now it looks like it was never even there. So we've gone over how to remove an item. Now let's go over how to add new objects to your image. To use AI to add new objects to your image, let's start by going to the Insert tab from the menu on the left hand side. So for my image here, I think I need a place to sit down. So let's see if we can add a chair to my room. To add a new object, the first thing you want to do is brush over the area that you want to add the object to. I think my chair will look good right around here. When brushing over the area, keep in mind the shape and the size of the object that you're adding. There we go. So now that I've brushed over the area that I want to add my chair to, let's go down to the bottom and enter my text prompt. For my prompt, let's tell AI to add a stylish wooden chair. And once you tell AI the object that you want to insert, Go down to the bottom right here and click the Generate button. AI will then analyze your text prompt and after a few seconds, it'll provide you with several results that you can select from. So to preview the various options, simply click the images at the bottom here. And once you find the one you want to use, simply select it and click the Keep button on the right hand side. My image now has a stylish wooden chair and I have a place to sit down in my room. So we've gone over how to add and remove objects in your image. Now let's go over how to use AI to expand your image. To expand my image, let's start by going to the Expand tab from the menu on the left hand side. When you click Expand, you should notice a grid appear on your preview. Using the grid, you can simply drag the handles in the direction that you want to expand your image. For this example, I think I'll expand my image at the bottom. There we go. So after expanding your image, you can then use a text prompt to tell AI what you want to add to the new area. For my image, let's see if AI can add a rug to the floor. And after you've expanded your image and added your text prompt, go down to the bottom right here and click the Generate button. AI will then analyze your expanded area and your text prompt and start generating your image. And voila! My image has been expanded and a rug has been added to the floor. I can now check out the various options here and select the one that I like best. 
I think this one looks really cool. So let's select it and click the keep button on the right hand side. And my image has now been updated. So using the generative fill and expand AI tools, I was able to easily remove and add objects and even expand my image with a simple text prompt. I think this looks much better. And once you finish editing your image, you can use the buttons up top here to share it or download it to your device. I can now use my image for my next social media post, presentation, or anything else I like. So that's a quick overview of how to use the generative fill AI tool on Adobe Firefly. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.